Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Libra February 2, 2022. You could be feeling a little stir crazy if you stay around the house today. It's not the best time to force yourself into doing boring chores. No matter how hard you try, you probably won't be able to summon up much enthusiasm for laundry and cleaning. You might benefit from a change of scene. Take a long drive, go for a hike, or visit a nearby city to inspire and relax you. A female visitor to your home might bring information that isn't reliable. Don't take whatever she says at face value. Romance looks good today, your passions are high and your need for intimacy about the same. It is, however, unlikely that you'll have any truly romantic encounters today, at least any satisfying ones. If the opportunity comes your way, it might be best to make a date for a later time. Have you been working yourself too hard any denying yourself many of the pleasures that you would like to have, or that you see others enjoying? Is there a new pair of shiny shoes that have been calling out to you from a store window, but that you just can't seem to allow yourself to have? Indulge yourself today. You won't regret it. It's important not to confuse the price and the value of something think about it. You may wake up in a fog of confusion this morning for one reason or another, but the good news is that the air is likely to clear as the day continues. By the late afternoon and early evening, you should be revved up and ready to go once again. Your normal self has returned and you are ready to face the world with a dramatic show of courageous action and adventure. It will be hard interacting with people today. You overreact to the smallest things and feel completely misunderstood. It would do you good to take a step back, clear your thoughts and start tackling the arguments in a calmer way. You can use the new information to predict what's coming next. There's been a lot going on in your life lately, and you'll suddenly see the pattern underneath it all in a flash of insight. If the response you get from prospective dates is not always positive, consider how your approach might be improved. You may want to ask what you could change about yourself. Becoming more self-aware can help you understand what to change or at least help you appreciate another's point of view or not. Today, dear, it would be a good idea to let the world spin without your help. It is a very good moment to take care of yourself. Don't you have a beauty appointment that's long overdue, or a day spa that you keep promising yourself you'll visit? Relaxation is a must for you today, so get it any way you can. At all costs, protect your health. The gears in your social life are having some problems. People get on your nerves a bit, your friends most notably, who will be hassling you a lot today. They're out of luck because you are not going to take it. Nothing and no one will make you concede. You don't have any intention of letting people walk all over you. So, they will just have to understand, but if they don't, they will probably be put out, mad or even very angry. You might discover that something has been moving behind your back without you even knowing. A large force has been slowly creeping up and suddenly it is exposing a piece of itself to you. Opinions are strong and stubborn today, so beware of opposition. Try to be patient. Sudden reactions to the situation may end up being too harsh for the person on the receiving end of your rage. Thanks to the moon, this week is providing a deeper insight into the four main themes of 2022 some more prominent now and others becoming more prominent over the coming months though with developments unfolding now today the moon has the spotlight on matters of the heart and all things fun playful romantic and creative but earlier in the week it was home and family matters from tomorrow it will be work and job matters and over the weekend it will be your relationships these are the four pillars of 2022 the moon is still in your romantic sector after yesterday's new moon when the asteroid Juno makes a timely return today. It has been four years since the Queen of Commitment was last year, but she returns in time to use the chance for a fresh start that a new moon brings to draw a new line in the sand. Romantically charged lunar vibes will pick up on a sense of resolve and conviction this is set to give your heart. When the moon connects with Jupiter, it can add a lot of positivity to the overall energy of the day. 
Jupiter is an optimistic planet that allows us to call on our philosophical side and expand our worldly horizons. This is also a very lucky aspect. Emotions get bigger, as does a need to open up to other people, something we never thought we could do. The moon squares Neptune today too, and when Neptune is involved we begin to see the world through rose-colored glasses. This can make us overzealous and impair our judgment of situations because we're inclined to think the best of other people even if that isn't necessarily true or real. We want to believe in the goodness of people, but it's important to watch out for those who might take us for granted or not have our best interests at heart. You could get played or used and not see it coming, which is why it's important to be aware of this possibility. The other side of this transit is that we could knowingly let others take advantage of us. While we can trust our head to steer us in the correct direction, we should aim to be heart-centered in our approach. The next two days are an excellent time for starting things, but not for seeing them through if they require extensive planning or patience. Also before dawn, Leo Mars forms a square to Ceres in Taurus, activating a T-square with retrograde Jupiter in Aquarius. The opposition between Mars and Jupiter will be exact tomorrow. This transit presents a conflict between two fundamental human instincts, self-preservation and the reflex to protect those we care about. We believe others must submit to us so we can help them. If they refuse our help, we lose our purpose, so we interpret this as defiance, an insult, or a threat. If someone does permit us to assist them, we will make sure they don't forget it. Reminders of how giving and generous we are subtly imply that we are owed a debt of gratitude, which inevitably breeds resentment, making the other party wish they hadn't asked in the first place. We should monitor our actions closely today. Self-reflection is the only way to determine whether we are out of line or overstepping another's boundaries.